First of all, I just want to say all power and glory to Jesus Christ and Jehovah. Thank you, God, for being here for me when I was forsaken by my loved ones. Um, I don't have enough time on my stories to really go into detail right now um, about too many things, but there was something that God wanted me to tell y'all about a vision that I had last night. I'm just crying because God is good. That's the only reason why I'm crying, because God is good. Um, there's been people coming and doing witchcraft on me in my sleep, and we've been fighting each other in the spirit. And um, I asked God, I said, Lord, uh, can you please uh, give me the necks of these women so that I can destroy them? I'm tired of them, and when they come to me doing the witchcraft, I want to destroy them in the spirit. So he started letting me um, beat them up and everything. And so last night I had a vision that I was in this house with my family members, women from my family. And they kept saying my cousin Irma was coming. They was like, Irma coming, Irma coming. And it was like all the women in my family trying to get Irma to fight me. And it was like she was trying to intimidate me. Like, oh, because I told what her mama and my sisters and my daddy and what my family really doing. Like, they was going to sit back there and let people kill me and this baby. And it had something to do with some wicked stuff about some white people or whatever. Um, and everybody pretended like they didn't know that I was with child. But anyway, let me just go on ahead and go into detail about what happened in the vision. Because I know the Holy Spirit can reveal things about people without it actually being defamation because I'm having visions and this is what happened. So, um, the women in my family was like, oh, she coming, like, to try to get her to fight me and stuff. And in the spirit, my spirit was saying to me that it was about my pregnancy that she was coming to bully me and fight me because I had been telling about the part that my family played in allowing the United States government to deny me medical care for my child and lie on the evidence about this white male, my baby daddy, abusing me and my little boy and about letting them uh, take me to court and falsify documents and abuse me and take my son from me. Um, and for protecting myself, and they tried to murder me. They just tried to kill me for a blood sacrifice to Satan, period. And I've been telling on everybody that was uh, allowing it and that was trying to help them do it because they always trying to help kill me for the white man. So anyway, so um, in this vision, like, everybody will act cool with me. Everybody, in, in, in real life, everybody, like, us try to say I'm lying, but that's how they do. That's what they do. So, I'm going to just tell you what happened in the vision. So, in the vision, my cousin was coming to fight me, and um, everybody was saying, like, she going to beat you up. She going to beat you up. She going to beat you up. And I was thinking, I can't let my cousin get her hands on me because my cousin is very strong. My cousin, little Irma, is very strong, and I'm with child. And if she hits me, she going to kill this baby. And that's, like, all I could feel was, like, oh, she was coming to try to punish me for telling the truth and um, trying to kill the baby. And so um, all of a sudden I had... Uh, like, she threw some, I was standing on some steps, or and it was women behind, and my family was behind me, and she was coming towards me, and it was like they was egging it on to try to make me have to fight her when I didn't want to, knowing that I'm with child. And so, um, she, Irma threw something at me, like some paper stuff, she threw something at me, and it almost hit me in the face, and it went that way. And then she had, um... Uh, Picked up like a stroller and like a box, and then she threw that at me too. And after that, I was like, Nah, I'm finna have to get with her. And she was like balling up her fist, like to come and start punching on me. And I was like, I can't let this woman get her hands on me and start punching on me because she's going to kill my baby. And in the vision, I was with child in the vision last night, I was with child, and so, um. She came, uh, like, I had grabbed a, a knife, I had a pocket knife, and I grabbed a knife, and all the women in my family started panicking, and I was like, no, nah. I was like, if y'all really care about her, don't let her keep running up on me because of what I'm about to do to her, 
to defend myself, I, you know, and I didn't tell them, but I was letting them know, like, I'm going to have to defend myself. If y'all keep letting her run up on me, then y'all don't really care about her because I was going to defend myself with a weapon no, because I'm pregnant. And in the vision, I was pregnant. And so my family started trying to drag on me. Like, everybody started trying to, like, just block me from being able to have a way to defend myself and we all ended up in the kitchen and my little sister had some dolls and like the the stoving i mean the stoving the stove top uh had the little eyes on it and the eyes was turned on and they was real hot to the point where they was turning white like when they ash over and my little sister had these two dolls in her hand and I don't know if they was voodoo dolls, but I think they was. And they looked like Barbie dolls. But I never played with Barbie dolls. Growing up, my mother did not buy me Barbie dolls. She bought Barbie dolls for my little sister. And she bought me stuffed animals. But my little sister was used to play with Barbie dolls a lot. And so my little sister had Barbie dolls. Now, my little sister is grown now. Um, she had Barbie dolls on her hand in the vision. And I, I went to my sister and I snatched a little brown Barbie doll with the same complexion as mine and the hair color. My hair color, if y'all go down to when I was getting my hair done by Karima, you'll see that my natural hair under the light is red. And God was saying something about some women being jealous of me because of my skin tone and my real natural hair color, like on the plantation field. Like he was showing us on a, like a plantation field. And then he was showing all the other black women and he was showing my features as on the plantation field. And he was showing them playing in my hair. But then he was showing people in the, on the plantation field trying to set me up and have me killed, being jealous of my looks. And then so, um... Uh, when I seen this Barbie doll, it had my skin complexion, and then it had my hair color, but it was long. And then I snatched the Barbie doll out of her hand, and I started banging it in the face. I started banging the Barbie doll up against the um the eye, and I destroyed it. And it was almost like it was some sort of voodoo doll, um, and like somebody was keeping the voodoo doll. And, and like memory of like it being me and then doing stuff and it was like once I destroyed it it didn't have no power over me after I destroyed the voodoo doll um and so um I looked at the face of the doll and it was completely burnt or whatever and then I noticed that it had my features like it was a voodoo doll and then so we ended up in the kitchen. I mean, we ended up in the little foyer right in front of the doorway where the stairs was when she first threw something at me. And there, there was a little table and some knives. Like, we was tussling, you know, but I was trying to keep her from punching me and hitting me. And there was this little clear container. Like, you know, your parents have a clear container where they put, like, little paper magnets and, you know, um, like, uh, change and stuff in there. Well, it was some knives in there. And um, they had got the pocket knife from me or something where I didn't have the pocket knife to defend myself. Like the women in my family were trying to make it to just let her beat me up and kill my baby. And when my cousin was running up on me, her eyes got big. Like it was almost as if in the spirit we was fighting. And it was like she was fighting for her life in the spirit for my family's honor. Because my family have lied and I'm with child with this baby. And it's like my honor was on the line and God was with me like I'm with Andrea because Andrea is pregnant and y'all doing wickedness and this is a child and I'm with Andrea and she gonna fight everybody and she gonna beat everybody ass she destroying folk I don't give a damn because y'all doing wickedness and my family member was running up on me like this as if she was trying to fight for the honor of my family to death to cover up the fact that they knew that these white people did this to me and my baby and that they don't allow me to walk around like this with this baby trying to tarnish my image and things like that. And they have done wickedness to me my whole life, so I'm not surprised. But in this vision, she grabbed a knife. And she grabbed a little tiny knife out of it because it fell over. The little container fell over as she was trying to get to me and fight me. And she grabbed this little knife that had a blade on it like this. It was a kitchen knife. And it was skinny and it had a little blade knife on there. And then I had grabbed a knife too um, that was from the kitchen. And she came running up on me with the knife. And I, I took my hand and I grabbed the knife. Um, out of her hand and then I still had mine and I had both knives 
to her face and then the little small knife that she had I, I had it right there to her eye on the left side so if she facing me I put the knife right up to her eye like right there I had it literally right there and she ran up on me and, and with the knife and I somehow I snatched put it right there to her eye and then I took it down and I, I let her know in the spirit I spared you because I could have took it out and then she kind of looked at me like and I looked at her like, yeah, I spared you. And then I woke up. And I was like, man, I got to tell people, man, that I'm being attacked, like, in, in, in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? What's really going on? Like, I told y'all, it's high power celebrity people. A lot of people that, you know what I'm saying, know about my pregnancy. And they went out their way to try to coon for some white people and try to beat me up and fight me and poison me and talk about me and lie on the evidence to my case for some white folk. Like, that really showed me how much black people really actually do worship white people in this country. I understand they've been abused and stuff, but you don't. You don't lie on your own people. You don't try to kill that baby. But God let me know it's satanic reasons uh, too as well as why they doing it. Um, I had more visions, but they put a spell over them. So I got to pray to the Lord. And it's like God is letting me know, Andrea, I'm in control. You have to pray to me in the midst of this battle um, so you can have a clear mind. Um, it's like if they mess with my vision, if I ask him to, to take it away, he will. But it's like he want me to know that we in this together, that I got to pray to him at all times, you know, in, in this. And then another thing is like it seemed like uh, because it's so many of them lying um, in my family, lying in the hospital, lying all over the community, uh, trying to stay stuff. It seemed like because they being Satanist, it seemed like they have more power than God to where um, even this white man came to me in the spirit and he was serving Satan and he had two white women acting like dogs serving Satan and he said, when we get done with you, you're going to serve him too. Just saying that everybody was doing what they were doing to me, trying to force me to give up on God and stop believing on God and serve Satan with them. And um, God has uh, cursed somebody the other night in the name of Jesus. So I already know God is bigger than whatever it is that they trying to do and I'm not serving the devil. I'm not serving Satan with them. And if I have to die because I won't serve Satan and I know who the devil really is, then that means I have to die for it. You know, but if my God can save me, then my God can save me. His name is Jesus Christ and Jehovah and it is what it is. I'm with my God and I'm I'm fighting in the spirit now. Um, it's not, I don't fight all the time, but when he do let me win a fight against somebody wicked, I love it because my family know exactly what's going on. They know exactly why these people doing what, what they doing. They know what the black people is doing, that stage and stuff. Everybody knows what's going on, but America is built off of this Satanism that, um, it's almost like they can't really stop doing it or the fabric of everything will just collapse in this country. So it's like they got to keep on killing black women and keep on being and try to get people to deny the real God uh, to keep white people in power and the devil in power the way that they are and not have equality for people all over the world. And then it's like they keep threatening people to make people not stand up for themselves and make them afraid. And it's like people have sold their souls because they just decided that they was going to keep on allowing these white people to just do the same stuff and then now they're helping them do it see and so they're helping these white people get away with their crimes to where white people can create a history about themselves and make it seem like they was cool with black people like they didn't do all the wickedness to black people that they really do and they still doing it but they got black people covering it up and it's keeping them in power and i'm not really worried about power but what i'm worried about is when you target me and my children because of our ethnicity and you got our brothers and sisters making deals with them to help eliminate us off of the land and they doing it on one accord then i have to expose it and i'm with child and when you attacking my child 
I don't give a damn about any of y'all anymore. I I, I want to see the utter destruction of 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 everybody that was involved with trying to kill this baby by the hands of the Most High God. So I have no problem exposing everybody um, that was involved. Um, another thing God said is I haven't been eating a whole lot, but I do got some food right here right now. Um, which is good. Uh, and I know that we need, I need, we need to expose, um, these idols, uh, in our nation right now because, um, the devil used a lot of people from our own community, from the black community, um, to, um, brainwash and infiltrate the black community with lies and deception. And this is why these people are actually being paid the way that they are. Um, when I shot this young white male in self-defense, the first thing that the whites did was went to these high-power celebrities that are black and let them know this black woman shot one of us. And because you guys worship us and have sold your souls to us, then we need y'all to handle her for us. And they came out the woodworks to fight me for these white people. And that's why I'm asking y'all to cancel the Black Lives Matter movement because it's not real. It's fraudulent. Um, I'm not saying that the hearts of people who have donated and came out and stood and fought, fought was false. No, but I'm saying the organization itself, the people who are running it, and a lot of the uh, higher up people who are behind fundraising, they are fraudulent um, because these, these celebrities came out the woodworks to help them get rid of the evidence to my case. They came out the woodworks to help them get rid of the fact that this white man was abusing me and to try to set me up to make me look like somebody that I'm not so that they could try to keep me from telling the truth about my case. Um, man, they were trying to murder me talking about, uh, these white people need a blood sacrifice and you know, they were, they were trying to kill me and threatening to kill my child and I'm pregnant with this baby and people are expecting me to not tell anybody about the baby and they was trying to kill it. So, you know, um, I'm doing some videos, a lot of videos and I'm about to expose, um, some people that I was afraid to expose, but she knew I was back there. These women knew I was back there. And right now it's just kind of like a little introduction video. And I was real hot about it and I've calmed myself. So I'm going to do separate videos. Probably I may do separate videos on everybody who God showed me in the spirit knew that I was back there because the Holy Spirit was exposed and showing me how many of my people were selling me out outside of that cell. And they was coming to me in the spirit, showing me they was wicked and trying to kill me. And so I'm telling on them. And I don't care about no defamation bullshit. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about your money. I don't care about your goons. I don't care about who you say you're going to try to get to hurt me for telling that you knew that these white people was back there denying a pregnant black woman medical care in the Montgomery County Jail in Conroe, Texas, and trying to murder me before my trial. It feels like fifth grade all over again. I have rights in this country.